Hey guys, what's going on? Spyjosh here. In this video, I'm going to be recapping the major things that Apple announced at their event. Please go easy on me for this video as I had to get up at 3am and stay up till 6am to watch the event and then edit this video. The first major announcement from the Apple event was that Mario is coming to iOS. This announcement kind of came out of nowhere and it's kind of interesting to see them bringing a game like Mario to iOS. This version of the game is simply a side-scrolling endless runner, but it does look like a lot of fun. You can make Mario jump. And the longer you tap, the higher he jumps. Another cool thing that was announced was a companion app for Pokemon Go for the Apple Watch. This allows you to do very basic things like view hatched eggs and see Pokestops around you. This will be a very interesting thing to use while playing Pokemon Go and will be very helpful. The first major piece of hardware announced was the new Apple Watch Series 2. This watch introduced waterproofing up to 50 meters as well as GPS. The watch also has a new processor, the Apple S2. The Apple S2 is now dual core and the GPU is now two times faster. There is also a brand new colored Apple Watch as well as a Nike edition Apple Watch. One very major announcement was the new iPhone 7. There is a new jet black finish as well as black blasted aluminum and the standard gold, silver and rose gold colors. There is now a force sensitive home button with a new Taptic engine. The camera is also improved with a 12 megapixel sensor and four LED flashes. Much like the LG G5, the iPhone 7 Plus also has two lenses which allows you to take better photos with a wide angle lens. The iPhone 7 also has a 25% brighter display with a wide color gamut as well as cinema standard color management with 3D touch. The iPhone 7 also has two times louder speakers and yes, they did axe the headphone port. Now you are forced to use lightning to listen to music, but they do give you lightning headphones as well as an adapter. The iPhone 7 is also said to have the best performance out of all iPhones with the new A10 Fusion. This iPhone is much more powerful than any other iPhone that is out today. The Apple A10 is a 4 core CPU that promises much better performance than any other iPhone. I mean just look at the graphs that they provided. At this event Apple also announced the new Apple AirPods. These are essentially wireless Apple EarPods for your new iPhone. These new AirPods have 5 hours of battery life and do look like a very interesting product. They also come with a case that you can put your AirPods in to charge them to get longer battery life. These would have been made in the wake of the death of the headphone jack. Apple seems to be pushing for a wireless future and this is the start of it. Thanks for watching guys, now if I missed anything make sure you leave a comment down below. I had to get up at 3am and stay up till 6am so I'm really tired and there might have been something I missed. Thanks for watching.